Hello everyone. Today we will see how to create holes in SOLIDWORKS. So let us start with the new part. So now first I will create one feature here and I will create the holes on that feature. So I will just create a feature in on the top plane. Just select this rectangle here. Let's say it is 200 mm. Let's say it is 400 mm. And then exit this cage. Again, go to the isometric view. And now select extrude boss base. We'll add a material here. So let's say it is 50 mm. And then click OK. So now, so now we will see how to create a holes. So to create a hole, just click on this hole wizard option. And then you can see different types of holes, hole types. You can see the counter bore, counter sink, the simple hole, the threaded hole, that is a straight tap. You will see here the tapered tap and you can see a legacy hole. So there are different types of holes here. So again, you can select this standard types uh, ansi inch ansi metric as as bsi dean so you can select this different standard types for these holes also you can select depending upon the standards you can see select this binding head screw pilister head screw heavy he x bolt so you can select these types also you need to select a uh, hole specifications so according to this standard again just I will select ANSI metric so you will see that these options will getting changed and you can select this the metric metric sizes are available different metric sizes are available M5 to M100 you can create that hole or, or if there is this is not possible in standard then you can add your custom sizing so you can add a different sizing here Again, you can create a fits that is close, normal, and loose fits. You can create. So in this way, you can create a holes. Okay. So, so to select a type, you have to select this tab, and for the positioning, you need to select this positioning. So position option. Just click on this 3D sketch, and just click on the face where you want to create that hole so just select that if you want to add a multiple holes you can add a multiple points just by clicking on this face and if you want to ex exit that just uncheck this point so you can add multiple points here to create these holes and then click ok so the holes are created here again edit that edit the feature again go to the positioning again now you can provide a dimension to that holes just select the points provide a dimension for that point let's suppose it is 100 mm again i will provide a dimension from this edge let's say it is 50 mm and then create ok So again I will, if you don't want this, I will delete this. Just delete that and create a hole. Again, so first we will see the counter bore holes. So again for counter bore, the, you can select this specification. Just select M M16. So here again select these different types of then you, you can select you can change if you want to if you want to add your custom sizes you can add show custom and you can add the sizes here 
so let's say it is 25 mm let's say it is 35 mm or 50 mm you can add a counter depth here so let's say it is 15 mm click ok so if you don't if, if you don't want a through hole you just need to add a blind here and provide a dimension where you want to create a so up to which you want to create a hole so in this way you can create a counter bore hole ok so now you will see another type of hole let's go to the hole wizard just click on position click on 3d sketch and put the hole again provide a dimension for this and then click on ok and go to the types if you want a counter sinkhole just select a counter sinkhole and again provide a ANSI matrix size just provide a size for this and then I will uncheck this and then click OK so in this way you can create a counter sunk hole again here it is possible to create a custom sizing just create a hole and then click OK so in this way you can create a counter sunk hole Similarly, there is a simple hole available. Again, provide a standard. Let's say metric. You need to select a diameter of this. Nominal diameter you have to select. In position, just place the point. If you want a through hole, just select the through hole from the end condition. If you want to add a custom sizing just add this and then click ok so you, see you can create a simple hole another hole type is the straight tap hole so similarly again provide a position for this go to the type select this straight tap select ANSI metric or you can select depending upon your standard tap hole and select this dimension the tap and then click ok so in this way you can create a tapped hole this is so you can see that from this option it is a tapped hole or you can directly see from this 3 object ok similarly you can create a tapered tap just select this your uh, appropriate I will select the ISO standard position it again go to the type again select the size and then click ok so in this way you can create a whole scene solidworks again you can create your custom legal you can you can create that custom hole here you can manage this angle for counter sink so, so you see you can create a hole I will save this file just save as to save whole wizard again there are options that is you, you can provide a fillet to the edges just to provide a fillet 
select the edges here so the fillet will be added here similarly you can add a chamfer just select the edge to provide a chamfer select a dimension and then you can create a chamfer here so please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them so thank you thank you for watching